Hi, once again, this is Greg Marshall, and I wanted to talk about, I did a post, um, you know, not too long ago about an incline uh, training and how it burns fat, and how if you train at between 18 to 24 percent incline, um, you know, walking about 2.5 to 3 miles an hour um, on the treadmill, you'll actually increase your chances of uh, burning the fat molecules in your body uh, based off of research uh, in uh, Logan, Utah. And I wanted to give you guys a couple of variations that you can use and that I also personally use uh, to work out myself just so you can have variety and a different way to make sure that you don't hit those plateaus that are all too common whenever you do a workout, you know, the same workouts over and over again. And one of the uh, tips I want to say was as you're on an incline, one way that you can uh, really change it up is do a side shuffle for 30 seconds at a time. Um, on that incline, so instead of just walking straight, um, you turn yourself to the side and you do side shuffles. And you can do 30 second clips and you keep rotating different sides. And that's a fantastic way to not only get your legs involved, but it will also involve your core because your core has to stabilize you because it's a different motion. And you can see some really good results doing that. Uh, what I recommend though is make sure you get used to just walking on an incline treadmill first. And then once you get better and more efficient at it, um, and it becomes easy, then you switch it up to doing some side shuffles. Another thing you can do is make sure the treadmill is going about 1.5 to 2 miles an hour, maybe a little bit faster, but you can actually do a walking lunge on that incline to engage your core, um, change up the workout, and also uh, incorporate you know, a strength building workout as well. And so... Um, whenever you do the walking lunge, it's kind of a rhythmic motion, so you just have to uh, get a feel for it when you do it. And once you kind of trust the treadmill that you won't fall off and you feel comfortable, uh, I highly recommend using that as well. That's a great, a great tool to switch it up. Another technique you can use is when you're on the incline treadmill um, to walk backwards and uh, staying on your toes. What that'll do is it really uh, emphasizes getting those quadriceps or basically the front of your legs um, to they'll definitely burn a lot when you're doing it and it does help with the toning and adding another different variation because um, we don't walk backwards very often if ever and so whenever you do something totally different to the body the body has to adapt to change and so um, I highly recommend using those techniques on the incline treadmill training so that you can get the most benefits for um, the time spent that you're doing it. Once again, I really like the, uh, you know, the time frame between 20 to 30 minutes. You can go longer if you like. Uh, the more aggressive you want to get with your weight loss, you can. But if you have any questions, need any help, um, send me an email at gregmarshall17 at gmail.com or uh, leave a comment. I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of direct messages from uh, the viewers that are watching the videos and uh, watching the blog posts. I really enjoy uh, helping you guys out. Hope you, hopefully you guys find my material um, helpful and you can use it in the gym. And uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks a lot.